Hello, Internet. This is your evil twin, welcoming you to episode two of Let's Play Wolfenstein. In today's episode, we shall be exploring a small area of the town and visiting the Black Market and the Kreisau Circle. Greetings, Agent Blaskowitz. I was sent by the Kreisau Circle to familiarize you with the city. Here's a map of the Midtown section of Eisenstadt. I have highlighted the essential areas and will update the map as needed. Now, the, uh, the town is, uh, is sort of a, a hub area in the game. Uh, between missions, you return to the town. And uh, as you progress in the game, additional areas of the town are unlocked, uh, giving you wider area to explore. While the town itself you know, has that sort of open world element to it, the actual missions themselves are strictly linear. During your missions, note anything unusual so that you can brief us later. And please gather any intelligence documents that you find, such as maps, orders, or blueprints. Now, on these screens, it's actually possible to select missions that you've already completed and choose to replay them and collect any gold or intelligence that you've missed. There's no need for me to do so at the moment because I already collected all of the gold and intel at the train station. The black market operates in secret locations across the city. I have marked some of them on your map. Go there to purchase ammunition and upgrade your weapons. Now, some of these unlocks are achieved naturally by completing missions, while others are earned by gathering a certain amount of intelligence. So while your gold is what you need as currency in order to buy upgrades, you need to collect as much intelligence as possible to actually get a good selection of upgrades. You will find your journal to be an invaluable tool. Consult it often. Yes, it's uh, absolutely invaluable to know just how many Nazis have killed, and you know, of those, you know, how many were dismembered, how many were incinerated. Um, I can see here that I haven't electrocuted or dissolved any yet. That's that's quite an oversight on my part. I'll have to do something to rectify that as soon as possible. No doubt you need to resupply after that battle at the train station. Follow me to a black market hideout that's close by. Then I'll take you to meet Caroline. Not much of a hideout if it's the door that's got the great big red skull on it. Uh, I'm guessing there isn't really an obvious red skull there, it's just for the player's benefit. I can't seriously imagine that they've defeated their door. Especially since the logo actually seems to, to hover. Let's go, I'll take you to that black market hideout. The black market hideout is through that door. Go in and talk to the vendor. Then I will take you to the Kreisau Circle safe house. Well, you see... The fact that this game's got you know unlocks and upgrades and that sort of thing uh, gives me the feeling that this is uh, really an RPG rather than FPS. And uh, if it's an RPG, then of course uh, my first job should be to search your house and steal everything that isn't nailed down. Caroline, we've been watching the Raven's Nest Tavern in order to learn the guard rotation patterns at the nearby warehouse. Unfortunately, we've gained very little information. I would suggest placing someone in deep cover to infiltrate the tavern. Hmm. What's interesting is this is the home of the Black Market, and yet they've got some intel there, uh, some communications of the Chrysler Circle, the Resistance. Uh, shoddy German engineering, gas leaks everywhere. You look like an American. What do you mean by that? Hmm? Eh? Have you seen Stefan and Anton yet? They are brothers. They run the place. Stefan is the brains of this operation while Anton takes care of things on the street. They share a passion for one thing. Money. Mind you, we're not criminals. Just businessmen. And since the Nazis came, <laughs> business is good. We make a killing on food and medicine alone. <laughs> I, I hope this war never ends. You're, you're a really pleasant chap, you know that? Now, if this game actually allowed you to use a pistol, this would be a good candidate for it. But uh, unlike the previous Wolfenstein games, you don't get a pistol. Your basic weapon is the submachine gun. Now you can tell they're pretty confident I'm not going to cause any trouble, given that they uh, they just leave all of their cash lying about the place. And all their maps and photos and 
You know, they're, they're pretty blasé, to be honest. Nope, nothing in here. Well, I have to commend you, little brother. Not everyone would have thought to steal weapons off of one train, while Nazis battled a fire at another. Seems that I helped these guys out by uh, by blowing up that uh, that special train full of turquoise goo. Look, brother, it's the American who destroyed the munitions train. I saw this man fight. You know, the Nazis have a revolt on your head. But don't worry, we won't turn you in. At least not yet. You think we can trust him, Anton? Just look at the fire in his eyes. This is a man who's willing to break the rules to succeed. He's our kind. Look around, American. What you see is yours, if you have the money to pay for it. Just don't give us a reason to stop trusting you. Oh, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends, Stefan. And if not, well, there's always a reward for him. Charming. Perhaps we could make a trade. I give you information on the Nazis, in exchange for details about the Kreisau Circle. I'm not some German rube, Yank. I know how hard you people are straining to win. This Manhattan Project, for instance. Hmm? Oh, look, he's shocked. <laughs> Don't be. So... What's your mission here, American? Assassination? Reconnaissance? Hmm? Well, suit yourself. I've got to say, they uh, they did put quite a bit of effort into the dialogue and characterization. You're working with the Kaiser Circle, aren't you? Tell Eric Engel hello from his old comrades. From what I saw while I was looting the train station, you're a good man to have around in a fight. But then I got away with the loot. What did you get? Oh, watch yourself in Eisenstadt, mein Freund. These are hard times, and the price on your head will be very tempting for some people. Can I help you? Okay. First things first, Car 98, that's my bolt-action rifle. Uh, it's absolutely imperative that I get a stripper clip for it. Two reasons. One, that means it's you know, far quicker to reload, and two, in real life, all car 98s came with a stripper clip anyway. It was a standard feature. Starting off with a, a car 98 where you have to load each bullet individually is, uh, is a bit odd. So um, I've got to get this stripper clip um, mm. just for reasons of historical propriety. There we go. Now that's quite an expensive upgrade, but I'll definitely be benefiting from it, both in terms of gameplay and, uh, and a sense of history. Now, um, I'll also go with the improved rifling upgrade. The, you know, the rifle is already pretty accurate, but it is a sniper type weapon and it, you know, it is useful to have it be dead on accurate. Plus, it does cause a visible change in the weapon, as you can see there. It's, you know, it's pretty nice being able to pimp your gun. Now, I don't think I'll go with the silencer, or at least not yet, uh, because the first time I played, I, um, I went with the silenced rifle. Um, and I think this time I'll go with silencing the MP40 submachine gun. And a recoil compensator so that uh, becomes much more accurate. And there we go. That exactly used up all of my money. Anything over here? Nope. Do you have anything to say, or...? What do no, you need? It's just to uh, go back into the shop again. And they have nothing more to say. I don't have time to talk to you. <laughs> Fine. Come again. Bring more money. Oh, I see, yeah. If I've got money, you've got time for me. Sehr gut. Follow me. I will take you to the Kreisau Circle safe house. Caroline is waiting to meet you. Now, back in Return to Castle Wolfenstein, 
uh, there's actually two submachine guns, the, the MP40 and, uh, and a Sten gun. Come on, Agent Blaskowitz. Let us go to the Kreisau Circle safe house. Which is your silenced SMG. Uh, but in this game instead, uh, the silence uh, is an there upgrade There is no time to waste. Follow me. I, I was looking for the Zeppelin. What do you know about the Zeppelin? Nothing. It just keeps coming around. I, I don't know anything. Let's go, Agent Blaskowitz. Caroline is waiting for you. Now move along. This is the entrance to the Kreisel Circle safe house. Go on in. Caroline wants to talk to you. Again, pretty safe to say that there isn't really a big K symbol on the door. Uh, otherwise, the Nazis would find the resistance in about all of two minutes. <coughs> Have trouble finding us? There's a logo on the door simply because there's a logo on my map, and it's convenient having it on the door rather than having to refer to the map. One man? Has the Allies sent one man to help us? Bla us. He's a spy tailing General Zeta. Und spy? What is he, OSS? MI5? What difference does it make? He has a mission. Don't look for him to lift a finger to help us. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, yeah, you got nothing to say now, have you? Hmm. You want to talk about vulnerabilities? I think Anton and Stefan could be dangerous. The Black Market Brothers? They won't bite the hands that feeds them. Then let's hope the Nazis don't start feeding them better. Gotta say, I agree with her. I wouldn't trust those Black Market guys further than I could throw them. And I can't throw very far. BJ, this is Caroline Becker. She leads the Kreisau Circle. Agent Blaskowitz, the Kreisau Circle thanks you for your assistance at the train station. But we can't help you here. We're busy as it is freeing Eisenstadt. Oh, he won't need our help, Caroline. I've seen him in battle. I think he could be a strong ally. I'll be the judge of that. If it's true your target is General Zeta, we last spotted him at an archaeological dig just outside of town. Security will be drum tight. We have no idea what the Nazis are up to there. It's a waste of time. You'll be shot on sight. But if you insist, I've marked your map with its location. One more thing. If the Nazis knew you were coming to the train station, then we have a mole. Watch your back, American. Hey, BJ. Don't forget, you can get supplies at the Black Market hideout. You can trust the brothers who run it. Well, at least until your money runs out. <laughs> if you are captured, I recommend cyanide. Otherwise, you'll give us away, and I won't have that. Serious business. Listen, BJ. If you see General Zeta, keep your distance. He's a psychotic and a sadist. So don't treat him like your average Nazi. Goodbye, Agent Blaskowitz. Sorry, I can't talk now, BJ. <clears throat> okay, I've completely exhausted all of their dialogue. I'm a little busy right now. Um... Yeah, if if you haven't got anything to say, uh, why do they bother giving you a speech bubble? You know, so I can interact with you. That's a bit weird. The the other guys that got nothing to say, um, there's no option to interact. But they let me interact with him just for him to say nothing. How about you? Anything to say? Nope. Anything for me to steal? No. So, Eric Engel says you're trustworthy. I think he's too quick to trust. That's his nature. But Caroline trusts him and he's done a good job as a lieutenant. When he wandered in here, bleeding and delirious, his wife dead from a Nazi beating, he was nearly insane. Caroline took him in like her own father, tended his wounds, so she offered him a job. If she's the brains of this operation, Eric is the heart. Grenades. And some gold. 
Now, I feel a little bit bad about that. Um, I'm, I'm stealing from the resistance. That, that just seems wrong. It was only a little bit of gold though, it was only a hundred dollars worth. So, uh, but they probably need every bit that they can get. Try not to get lost. Follow me, Agent Blaskowitz. I'll take you to a truck that's headed to the dig site. Quiet. There's a patrol coming this way. Right, time to try out this silence uh, on my sub machine gun. That nice is shot! There's no time to lose. Let's go. Fight cover now! What? Um. I want the there I was being stealthy, using a, a silence weapon. And then you start yelling and blasting away with your noisy machine gun. Thanks, mate. Now, that improved accuracy on the uh, SMG. Really quite useful. Yeah, we'd have a better shot of winning it if you weren't so damn noisy! Maintain fire. Go, go. Go, go. The truck to the dig site is about to leave. It's right through that doorway. Now, you'll notice that I haven't gone into any of the side streets, you know, explored the houses, that sort of thing. Um, that's because I'm going to be revisiting here for long, and so I'll have plenty of opportunity to loot the place. So you want to go to the dig site, eh? That truck's about to make a delivery there. Sneak on to the back and keep your head down. Worth noting the uh, the guy outside that I was fighting with. Um, he um, he's not actually invulnerable. Uh, when I first played this, um, he got he got killed by a German grenade. So uh, yeah, I feel quite chuffed with myself that he lived through this. out of here. The Nazis are going to kill me. How do you know I'm not a Nazi? 
You're PJ Blazkowicz. I know all about you and your mission. Who are you, kid? My name is Sergei Kovlo of the Golden Dawn. We are a group of scholars who study the occult. I came here to retrieve an artifact, but the Nazis captured me. They tortured me. I... I broke down. I told them where the Thule Medallion is. The Thule Medallion? It's a very valuable artifact that's located in the chamber just ahead. Please, BJ, you have to stop them. If the Nazis get their hands on that medallion, all will be lost. All right, kid. Stay here, and I'll make sure it's safe for you. Thank you, Agent Blaskowitz. Don't thank me yet. Join me for the next episode of Let's Play Wolfenstein, where we'll be exploring this archaeological dig site and getting to the bottom of what these Nazis are up to.